Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to my Christmas and Boxing Day sale DVD and Blu-ray haul. Um, I did pretty well this year, I'm really really happy with everything I picked up and I'm going to show it in different segments. First we'll start with the gifts that I received, then we'll um, showcase what I picked up via Christmas money myself and then lastly I'll show you what I picked up at the Big W Boxing Day sale. But before I get into showing my haul, I just wanted to put a little attention over to 14 Goodfella or Tim. Um, hey Tim, how's it going? Just wanted to mention once again that I absolutely loved your um, Christmas update. You picked up a ton of movies that I absolutely love. So definitely an epic haul, mate. Well done. And probably one of my favorite updates from you too actually I really really enjoyed everything you picked up so well done on that and I hope you enjoy all the movies so if you guys are not subscribed to 14 Goodfella I'll be leaving his channel link below uh, check him out he has some amazing updates guys so definitely check him out if you haven't so before I get into the movie side of things I'm going to show you a magazine that I picked up um, it's a special effects magazine and they do like sort of different kind of like horror and sci-fi themed magazines every month I think it is um, this one's the zombies edition so it comes in this cardboard sleeve thing and um, it also came with a poster double-sided poster right there which has The Walking Dead and another um, zombie themed poster. I do plan to hang it up at some point so when I do I'll show you it better because it's really really nice um, especially the zombie themed poster it looks awesome and it also came with some other gifts as well it came with this zombie head which sits on top of a key pretty cool and a sticker um, and this is the magazine itself which I absolutely love that cover um, this just talks about zombie movies it also gives a um, I think top 66 zombie movies to watch um, and there's quite a few that I haven't seen yet so looking forward to checking them out um, I am a big fan of the zombie genre and it's definitely a subgenre of horror that I'm wanting to get more into so I had to pick up this magazine and it has a lot of articles about some um, The Walking Dead series is in here, Return of the Living Dead plus some other George A. Romero movies so yeah great magazine really really happy with this one. Okay now on to the movie so we'll start with the gifts that I received first. Um, so I got the following movies from my partner. First up we have Cape Fear with Robert De Niro. This is the remake. Absolutely amazing thriller. Glad it got a Blu-ray release. Um, yeah I do own the DVD copy but I definitely wanted it on Blu-ray. Um, in my opinion one of the best thrillers ever made. So if you haven't checked it out I'd highly highly recommend it. Awesome movie. Um, now I haven't had a chance to see the following three yet um, but he also picked me up Cobra um, I'm really wanting to get into 80s action movies so I've heard really really good things about this one so Cobra can't believe it's taken me so long to finally get this in my collection but I do own it now and that's Predators uh, the rebirth I guess you'd say um, I do like the Predator series, especially the original movie. It is fantastic, so looking forward to checking it out. I've kind of heard mixed things on it, but most of the things I've heard have been positive. So, yeah, looking forward to giving this one a watch. Uh, the, and the last gift um, from him is Gran Torino. Now, again, this has been a movie that I've been wanting to see for quite a while, and I think it came out in... Yeah, 2008, I can't believe it's been out that long and I still haven't seen it. So, now I can. Then me and Kevin also did a 
our Christmas package swap. I've already done a separate video on that, but I just wanted to mention it again. He sent me Day of the Triffids and Full Metal Jacket. So again, Kevin, thanks for that. Uh, now on to the movies that I picked up with my Christmas money. Just decided to grab this double pack of Home Alone 1 and 2. I already own the first Home Alone, but haven't owned the second one and couldn't find the separate Home Alone 2 release anywhere so I just grabbed this pack um, just one disc two movies on one disc but I really only wanted it for the second movie classic movies seen this seen them both numerous times and in my opinion they're both as good as each other so Home Alone 1 and 2 um, this was only four dollars so I grabbed it Rosemary's Baby um, I've heard this is a classic horror from the 70s. Uh, never seen it before, but for $4, why not? Uh, next we have Scar, so I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is a winter-themed horror movie about a group of snowboarders who I think get um, lost one weekend while snowboarding and they end up in a small remote cabin and they come across a couple of cannibals so looking forward to checking it out I haven't heard too many people ever talk about this movie before so if you've seen it uh, let me know what you think of it and Tim I know you're wanting some uh, winter themed horror movies and I've never seen this one but this could be worth you checking out also so scarce or scarce however you want to say it uh, next up finally got in Evil Aliens. I'm a massive fan of Peter Jackson's Bad Taste and I've heard this is really really similar so cannot wait to check it out. Next we have um, Shallow Ground. I'm really really disappointed in this one I have to say it. I really can't recommend it. Again I haven't heard too many people talk about it but I think I've heard one person on here say that it was really good and then the other person didn't really care too much for it. Um, yeah, I really didn't like it. Um, I thought I'd really get into it. The storyline sounds really, really good, but it ended up being way too confusing for my liking and uh, kind of slow in parts. I will admit the um, characters, the location settings and the way this film was shot and the effects were really, really good, but storyline, no. Nah just didn't work for me so pretty disappointed in this one uh, then I picked up a really cheap and cheesy two pack of Anaconda and the sequel Anacondas I'm absolutely terrified of snakes in real life and I'm wanting to get more snake themed horror movies into my collection so this is where it starts Anaconda and Anacondas um, so that's all the stuff that I received for Christmas. Now quickly on to the Boxing Day sale. So um, I did post a previous video letting everyone know that Big W had a sale running from Boxing Day to the 4th of January with 30% off Blu-rays and 25% off DVDs. Now because I work at another store that owns Big W, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get another 5% off the purchases so it worked out 30% off DVDs for me and 35% off Blu-rays for me which was awesome. The sucky thing was the range was pretty pitiful as I was kind of expecting. Um, Americans you really don't know how lucky you are when it comes to being able to go to a store and yeah having the big range of movies that you do are uh, really really lucky. Um, anyway, I did pick up um, some really good titles, especially two that I'm glad to own. Um, but the first one I picked up, oh yeah, and these, this slot came to a total of $48 and some change, so pretty good. First up we have Running Man, I've seen this once years ago, um, and like I said before, I'm wanting to get into 80s action movies, so decided to pick this one up no idea what the transfer is like and um, yeah that's Running Man. Uh, this is a set I've been wanting to pick up for a while now. Finally glad to 
have upgraded my DVD set of the Rambo Trilogy. Um, pretty nice set, comes in a slipcase, slip cover, and the artwork's really, really nice on it. Um, these are great action movies, uh, especially the first Rambo, one of my personal favourites. So really glad to finally have this on Blu-ray. And then to go along with that, the new Rambo. Um, I never know what to really call this Rambo or Rambo Rebirth or whatever. You guys know. Um, I've seen this movie a couple of times before but never owned it so glad to finally do now. Um, I had a lot of fun with this and it's definitely a great rebirth to the original trilogy and definitely one of my favourite action movies from recent years. So Rambo. So that's it guys for my Christmas and Boxing Day sale movie haul. Um, I will be having another update. I do have some other titles sitting next to me which I'm really really tempted to show now but I won't because I'm leaving that to a separate video. Um, but just a quick hint, if you're a fan of slashes if, and especially rarer sort of less talked about slashes, stay tuned because that's going to be the next video I upload. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah guys, I hope everyone had a really, really safe and happy Christmas. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching.